38. The coaches didn't have to change places. We have Monroe and South Plainfield matching up again at 138 pounds. For, for Monroe, the number one seed, Chris Musi. And for South Plainfield, the number two seed, Dan Hedden, and probably one of the most, probably the most competitive match, maybe the best match of the night. Musi comes in at 21 and two on the senior. He's a senior. Season, he's a senior. He is the defending 132 pound champion here in the GMCs. South Plainfield's Dan Hedden, a junior with a 19 and five record. Came in second, these guys in a tough matchup here as Hedden gets the takedown. Now Mucci gets better because of his workout partner, because he has to wrestle for Fazio all the time. Sure. Well, I was commenting at 285 and 220, you have the, the uh, yeah. Pacaro brothers, the mm -hmm. same thing. They're working with each other all the time, probably even at home in the living room. Oh, I can imagine. And you usually find that in teams, you've got good wrestlers uh -huh. in a sequence right there. Hedden's filled out well. He started out as a 13 pound, and now he's all the way up to 38, so he's gaining two weight classes each yeah. year. That's good. Don't kill yourself making weight. Fill into the lineup. And that's why South Plainfield's reloading every year. As a freshman, he was a district champion at 113, took second in the region that year, and took third in the JMC. So he had wow. place, place medals from all three. One, two, three. 30 seconds to go here in the first. A 2 nothing lead for Hedden. Hedden in the white. You see in the gold uniform with purple trim. And again, a reminder, the coaches, Bill Ashnall for the Falcons of Monroe, Kevin McCann Knee. for the Tigers. And they're going to call potentially dangerous. Anthony Zullo, the referee, Paul Associa, the assistant. Caution. A First caution one. Caution on Lucy. Five seconds to go here in the first. Lucy trying to come up to his feet. And that will be the period. The choice goes to Hedden. Hedden takes the defense. The second period, a 2-0 lead. Trying to add to his lead. Quick sit out. Followed by Musi. Mus oh. Musi decides to give him the one. Yeah, because he could have got one for stalling. Musi made it to the finals with a 3 0 decision over Serville's Maddox Mason in the semifinals. And there is two points for Musi. All right, cut the lead. Hedden made it to the finals with an 11 4 decision over Bishop R's John Sheedy. And an escape for Hedden. 4 2. Dan Hedden of South Plainfield. Last year, Musi also took a first place at 132 in District 20 and a third place in Region 5. So he is a three-time finalist in the districts. Coming back for his second finals in the GMC tournament, heading in on the, on the knee. Countered by Musi. He's got the whizzer. They may call a stalemate on this. Yeah, I see stalemate too. Because he's not going to get that roll through there. He's going to try it. No, he's not going to get it. That's his stalemate. Here we get it. They 
get the restart. Moose with a try for a duck under. They go out, 23 seconds to go. Dan Hedden of South Plainfield in the white with a 4-2 lead. Coming up on 10 seconds to go here in the second period. Moosey will have choice of position in the last period of regulation. And he goes right to the defense. See, what they did is they interlocked their fingers. They're not supposed to be doing that. We have blood time for South Plainfield, and we'll take a break. Huh? You got the match tomorrow? No, I got my little kid's match. He's, uh, re he's wrestling uh, up in North Hunters. I heard you met Lance, my buddy, the other day. Lance Beeman, big dude, goofy. Yes. He's oh, my good. best friend from high school. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, Anthony, you, you had friends? <laughs> He doesn't know <laughs> we come back, blood time for Dan Hedden. We go to the third period. Chris Moosey. Caution, where are we going? Ref Zulo time, okay. He's taking responsibility wow. now when something happened. Either he made a motion, but he's not going to give a caution on that. Which I think is a fair thing. A lot of referees realize they may have caused something, don't uh -huh. realize the, the, the wrestlers. <laughs> If it won. takes his way out. No one's been warned for stalling. Nope. Both wrestlers have a takedown. Hedden scored first in the first period. They'll get a restart. I think headgear was coming down. Again, they're interlocking the fingers. Don't like that. And that's a safety issue. Coming up on a minute. Hedden's playing the line, but he's not going out, so at least he's circling in a little bit. So he's, he's getting okay right now, so he killed most of the yeah. clock. But Zulo will probably nail him for at least a, he, a warning, and even though they, none of them have been warned. Well, at this point, Moose is the one that needs the points. Not a good shot. No, it was a little slow and good sprawl by, by Hedden. 30 seconds to go here in the last oh, period. On the leg. They pull back, head and drop down to the ankle. He's gonna try it. He's gonna come out the back. No two, no two, there's, there's two. two. That's it. Six to three, 10 seconds to go. Dan Hedden on the lead. And the final at 138 pounds by a 6-3 score from South Plainfield, Dan Hedden. The rich get richer. Wisconsin. 